Hello again, beautiful souls. I'm here today again to bring through Ashtar and I just sat and connected with him and he asked me to anchor in diamond light codices and I asked how that was to happen and he said to do it with sound. So I'm going to start with that today. And he said it's important that this happen in the month of December. So the more listening, if you feel inclined to share this so that it gets out there more, I think these um, light codes being anchored in leading up to this December 21st and this month of December, there's so many pivotal days in this, this month that it's very important for us finishing up 2020, moving into 2021 and all the other things that are happening at this time. So um, I'm delighted that you're here participating and as you're listening to the tones, you can just intentionally contribute to anchoring in the diamond light codes into the earth. So when he showed me how to do this, it's going to be a pillar of light moving through me out into everyone who's listening and everyone who's willing to receive and then into the earth and into the grid work of the earth. So you can match this vision or whatever you feel inspired to do that you know will be of service to the light. You can contribute that as well with your intention as you're listening. And then I will bring through Ashtar for a channeling. Okay, so here we go. So I'm feeling called to start with my crystal bowl, which is um, tuned to the earth, to the root chakra. So it helps ground us in and get us really anchored in here as we begin this process. I'm seeing little beings flying around in my space. So just coming fully into your center now. <sighs> Feeling all aspects of yourself coming in, pulling all of your energy into this now moment, into this present experience, connecting with your column of light. We call upon the Ascended Masters and the Great White Brotherhood. We call upon the Ancient Ones who speak through me in this language of light. Matakalawa a each canayo tik tika apna. Machkiawa e e a lio each kaha wash kaha wash kaha tik 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 Nee, 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 nee,
Watch ki awa e each kanayo tik tika awa na. Meech ka awa e each kanayo tik tika awa ni. Ach ki a na iwa aya na iama iana a ach kana a matna. Ach kanayo tik tika awa e ach kanayakna awa ni. Much ki o ak tika ki kshna. Each ka awa e ea chai o ko a ta tikia kachna iamana. Iamana up shua a each kanaya tik tika awa na. Much ki awa e ea la each kana awa e each kana awa e ea shkani anai. Yachka awa e each kanayo tik tika a achkana e each kana a milwa achkana e e each kahwa hishkana hashkana each kana a watna shkana each kana a chu hashkani e akma each ka chki yana each ka Just seeing the codes now spreading out all over the earth and the beings of light are anchored in key points on the earth to spread the light, anchor it into the grid and seeing the earth now covered in this diamond light. Feeling that frequency within my cells. And so it is, beloved beings of earth, precious humans who come in service to the love and the light of the divine. We stand before you in awe and wonder, for here you are in the craziest of times. Here you are at this key point of the great divide between the age that was and the age that is. And just like a teenager in order to be able to leave home needs to create chaos, needs to break free from the system that held it and nurtured it for so long. And it does so through loud music and resistance and arguing so too it is you are at this time on your earth where you are breaking away from the old system, allowing yourself the liberty and the freedom of moving into a new age of light and grace and joy and love and abundance and prosperity and kindness. And in the process, there is this chaos, this craziness of breaking free of seeing clearly how destructive the old system was for your soul, for your magnificence, for your grace, for your freedom, for your liberty, for your sovereignty. And in order to find your way into that sovereignty, it requires great discernment, it requires great courage, it requires willingness to give up what you thought was security, that is the great irony because there has been no security in the system that is dissolving. Your true sovereignty, your fruit, true freedom comes in stepping into this new age, this higher frequency of light that requires that you dissolve all that you were to become all that you are always meant to be. And so it is the courageous who make this choice, who are the forerunners in this process. And we commend you, beloveds, for all souls have come in with their patterns of
potential for growth, we would say. Patterns of unconsciousness that keep you in the illusion. And yet, once you begin to awaken, nothing can hold you back. And it is to you we speak. Those who are in this process of awakening, and we know that you are feeling it in your soul, that you are feeling it in your heart, to break free into something new, something different, something that is alive, that wants to burst forth from you like a radiant stream of light from the great central sun. And we say, beloveds, have the courage to step into that. And we want you to know it does not need to be in a way that's going to create even more chaos in your life. It comes from discernment, moment from moment from moment, discerning what will lead you to your freedom, what will lead you to your sovereignty, what small decisions can you make every day that are supporting the truth of you? What small decisions can you make around letting go of what you know no longer serves your evolution? Letting go of what you know in some level of your being is holding you into the past, holding you into who you used to be when there's a whole new you ready to awaken. Every time you take a small step toward your freedom, your liberty, your sovereignty, you are expanding your soul expression in this earthly plane. And the more you expand this soul expression, the more you become filled with this magnificence of you. And so you don't need to know the, the steps of the final outcome. You simply need to make the steps every day that you know your heart is encouraging you to do, that you know you are being prompted into. This requires recognizing the fears that hold you back and questioning whether they are serving you, whether they are based in a foundation of truth or simply familiarity, whether what you're feeling is fear of the unknown, and whether you have the courage to step into the unknown, knowing that every step you make towards your progress is supported by the beings of light, by your own mighty I am presence, by the all that is, to lead you to your greatest expansion, your greatest potential, the deep truth of who you are in your magnificence. It is within you. And if you feel this desire within you to be something more, then you already are that something more. That's what your desire is showing you. You already are that. And the human expression of your soul is ready to step into that. The human expression that your soul is bringing to you is saying, okay, this is it. It's time. Let's be this. Let's be this now. Let's be this. It keeps growing and growing and growing the more you say, yes, okay, I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to surrender to be even more and more and more and more and to have even more and receive even more. I'm ready to be the love that I've given to so many. I'm ready to surrender my old patterns that have kept me limited and restrained and small. Great Spirit, Mighty I Am Presence, my guides, show me the way to do this. Nudge me in the direction of my greatest magnificence. Allow me to receive the inner knowing that I am magnificence. Support me in releasing the fears of the past that have kept me small. Support me in seeing the programming of limitation, that I may burst forth through that into the light. All of this will support you, beloveds, in this becoming, in this growing and expanding, into receiving all the light codes that are coming to the earth at this time. 
This is a pivotal time in this shift of the ages. And it is our deepest desire that each one of you listening to this expands into that great potential so that you may know the fullness of your soul, that you may know the fullness of living alive and vibrant on this planet. It's time to overcome the struggle and the mere surviving. It's time to overcome being a victim of anything. You no longer need to make that choice. You can make the choice of liberty. Anytime you feel like a victim in any way, and by that we mean any time that you feel any restriction whatsoever in your life, for only a victim is restricted, and the victim is a mentality that comes from the mind. Anytime you feel that, say, universe guides all that is, show me the freedom. Show me freedom. Let me know how I move toward freedom as I dissolve this belief of victimhood. Whenever you feel any restriction whatsoever, ask to be shown your sovereignty, your liberty, your freedom, to be shown the way that will lead you to that so that you can unzip the suit that was this belief in victimhood. Simply unzip it, walk out, and see your light radiating out as the zipper unfolds. Let it drop to the ground and leave it behind, beloveds. For you are the sun, S-U-N, the sun of the sun. You are the radiant light of this planet. And you are the reason that this planet is going to glow and shine and attract beings from multi-universes to come and be witness to the great light that is awakening on earth, to be witness to the great light that is the humans who walked this path of such great density and found their way back to the light. This is coming, beloveds. This is your destiny. This was your reason for being here. And here you are. And so as you listen to the light codes that were anchored in the, in the beginning of this transmission, you will be assisting yourself in unzipping that suit and walking into your radiance and knowing the glory of what it means to be an awakened human on earth, living in wholeness within yourself, and therefore living as a wholeness of humanity on this beautiful, beautiful planet, Earth, Gaia, that has waited so patiently waited so long and she too was going through her own process of evolution you have been in this together and we cannot even relay to you the magnificence of the rejoicing that is already happening so beloveds lift your heads walk tall and know that you are the great race of humanity and you hold the love and light of the divine and you will see that again on this earth, leading all humanity back to source, back to love. It is our deep joy and honor to be present with you and to all who have gathered here we offer our deep thanks into this blessed channel for opening herself to allow this transmission to be relayed through her. And to each one of you who allow the same as you listen, we are deeply grateful, for we couldn't do it without you. And so it is, beloved, sacred, blessed souls. We are the Elohim. 
in community with the Ashtar command. We love you so, and so it is. Wow, that was really beautiful. I'm deeply, deeply grateful. Grateful, so grateful. Thank you, thank you. And to each one of you listening, I am also very grateful. And I wish you the very best as we end this year of 2020. Hallelujah. <laughs> and the change may not simply be overnight, of course, but we know it's coming. And it truly is. I am feeling just excitement, joy, and grace as I allow myself to shift and change in the way that I know my soul is encouraging me toward and managing any fears that may want to come up as a part of that, just managing those and knowing that the light is prevailing. So much love to you all. Thank you for being present. Please do support the sharing of this message by liking and subscribing because that will then make it available for more and more people to see. So much love to you all.